This is a Singer 286K, made in 1963. Relatively few of these machines were made, and it's not too hard to see why. The Singer 286K and its close relation, the 98K, were budget three-quarter size models. They were made for just about a year between October 1963 and September 1964. In the early 1960s, there was an influx of cheap foreign sewing machines, especially from Japan, and Singer had to compete. One of Singer's best-selling models was the 99, which was rebodied in the late 1950s with a new modern style and named the 185. This was replaced by the 285, which was made from 1963 to 1965. It wasn't a hit, some parts had been made from plastic, and the lower hook mechanism was changed to a cheaper rack and pinion drive. This made the machine noisy and less smooth. The 286K was an even more budget version of the 285K. And while the 98K looked similar to the 99, it had the same mechanism as the 286K. So, where were the costs cut? The Singer 286K is a cast iron machine with an integrated base making it very heavy. The drip tray underneath is cheap hardboard, and the machine is finished in a fetching hammered effect paint similar to Hammerite that's used on garden railings. The presser foot lift lever and bobbin winder are plastic. Both of these parts are susceptible to damage. The tension assembly base is also plastic. Strangely, the bobbin winder mount and the belt guard appear to be light alloy. The hand wheel has a simple latch rather than the more common stop motion knob. The bobbin race uses pressed steel in its construction, which looks quite flimsy. The bobbin cover plate is one piece and simply lifts off. There's no work light. The motor and the foot pedal are hardwired. The foot pedal is pressed metal, and even the nuts holding the foot pedal together are made of pressed metal. They're not solid. This is known as the style D pedal. This particular machine came to me with the old style UK round pin plug, which I haven't seen in over 40 years, so it's safe to assume that the machine has not been run for several decades. I changed the plug for a modern one and made sure to put a 3 amp fuse in. I then opened up the foot pedal and removed the crumbling foam rubber and the capacitor. It's common for old capacitors to fail, causing the machine to run flat out, or they can go with an almighty bang. The capacitors were only there to suppress interference for old TV sets, and are no longer needed. Amazingly, the motor runs smoothly. The silver 286K got a clip-on wooden cover, although there's only a clip on one side. And it has a similar footprint to the featherweight case, while the gold 98K had to make do with a cloth cover. The machine threads up in the same way as the model 66 or 99.
with the needle threaded from left to right. And it actually produces quite a decent stitch. These sold poorly and were often used by dealers to demonstrate to a potential purchaser who, when saw these running, went on to buy a more expensive and higher quality machine. When they were received by dealers in part exchange, they were often quite simply scrapped. While this is a poor quality budget machine, they are quite rare. Only a combined total of 120,000, 286Ks and 98Ks were ever made. Compare that with a highly sought after Singer Featherweight 221. There were over 2 million of these produced. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of all my future uploads. Thanks for watching.